welcome back. So today we're going to cover chapter 10. Real short chapter. It's a chapter that deals with municipalities. So we're gonna talk about the city council. We're gonna talk about the conservation advisory council. Then we're gonna end a chapter discussing, talking about the receiver of taxes. So if you're ready to begin, press the like button and let's begin. The first thing that we're going to discuss is what is city of the first class, which is a population of 175,000 or more. Then you have the city of a second class, which is below 75,000, but above 50,000. And then you have a third one, which is the city of the third class, which is below 50,000. So basically that's how on your exam, you're going to describe the different populations, right? So obviously in New York city, all of the boroughs have a population that's above the first class, right? Of 175. So this is more or less for like Long Island part of New York or upstate New York, right? Where the populations can be smaller than a first class, second class or third class. Okay. The next thing I want to talk about is the conservation advisory council, conservation advisory council. So what, what is the job of the conservation advisory council? Well, the first thing is development, right? They're in charge of making sure that our natural resources, trees are being replanted and then management, right? So we need someone that's going to manage the forest, the trees, the land that we have. And then their third function would be to, as far as, again, they're an advisory council. So if I'm a developer and I want to build on a particular piece of land, I would need to then go ahead and consult with this advisory board. They will go ahead, they will look at the plans to give a decision. Okay, so in some of the earlier chapters, you heard us also talk about an EIS, Environmental Information Systems, which is a report which would let the developers as well as the city be made aware of the effects of doing development in particular land. Again, you guys know that we have like wetlands and, and different types of environment that that's being protected right is being protected so that is the function of the conservation advisory council and again in chapter 10 again it deals with municipalities it goes over talking again about the planning board right again their job if you guys remember from the previous video right when we talked about in chapter 9 talks about um, their job their functionality to approve different plans, right? They set the guidelines, you know, which is gonna be a residential area, what's gonna be zoning for commercial, manufacturing, right, industrial. So this chapter deals with all those municipalities and it breaks it down. So, so it breaks it down from the federal level, state, county, you have the city, neighborhood, right, or district. So in New York, we have what is called a council and most states, have what is called a, a state council or city council and you have representatives that are representing different parts of the state or the city so for example in new york city we have and, and this is something that you might need to know for your exam we have 51 members that's representing 51 different districts now each one of these council members as, as we call them are representing the interests for their constituents, right? For their population. So a council, again, is a, is a legislative body that are making the laws, right? So New York State, of course, our legislative body meets in our capital. Where is our capital? Albany. So they meet with the governor. So as, as of the time of this recording, the governor is Mario Cuomo. Uh, they're meeting, and again, this council is being represented by legislative members, so state senators and uh, council members that are representing a particular area. So just know New York City has 51. And the reason why that's important and the reason why you're 
given this information is if you happen to work with somebody that's doing development or maybe you yourself are interested in um, getting a red light or um, three bumps or a community center you, you're trying to get more resources you're going to then go to your council member you're going to petition your council member you're going to get their attention you're going to sit with them to try to get what you're looking for those of us that's in real estate most of us are part of boards we belong to realtor boards not realtor realtor we're part of realtor boards where um, we contribute some of our dues will go towards meeting with these political congressmen whether they're on the city state federal level so that we have legislate legislation what is going to be conducive to our industry okay Again, the last thing I want to talk about is the receiver of taxes. So in a major metropolitan city like New York, you know, we have a, a whole finance department that's receiving property, real property taxes. But if you live in like Long Island, where each district within Long Island, each district, and pretty much when we're working with clients, a lot of times clients would say they want to be within a certain school district. So that's where we come in and then we're going to go ahead. We're going to figure out what the boundaries are for that school district. But each one of those districts in Long Island pay different taxes. So that's why in your book, you have a term called receiver of taxes, right? Because these districts are so small, right? It could be either be, you know, city of the first class, city of the second class, city of the third class, it is possible there could be less than 50,000 population. So you have someone that's going to receive the taxes, right? That ends chapter 10. The next time I see you guys, we, we're gonna go into chapter 11. So we are halfway through the book. Woohoo! Most of you guys are probably spending time at home, a lot more time at home, I, I hope being safe so um, this is a great opportunity for you to learn your book and i will see you in the next training again don't forget to like subscribe and uh, you can leave your questions in the comments area i'll go through your questions and give you an answer all right so till next time i see you next time i see you chapter 11 take care real estate sales book but later on we will follow with california sales book florida sales book as well as New Jersey sales book. So look forward to those videos. One of the other things that we want to also discuss in the channel is investment. Because most real estate professionals out there, they never get to learn about investment at their firm. So we want to talk about foreclosures, what type of properties you should buy. So don't forget to like and subscribe and share the video so that you'll be notified when we drop those videos. We're trying to drop at least a minimum of three videos per week. And we look forward to seeing you in our next video. Thank you.